Turkan Soray was born in the 28th of June 1945 in Eyüp, Istanbul. Her father, Halit, was a railway officer and her mom, Meliha, was a housewife. They divorced when she was nine. As a child, this affected her badly. Perhaps this is the reason why she seemed to be starving for love. Similar with Marlene Monroe, always looking for love and attention she didn't get from her absent dad and paranoid schizophrenia mom. Sorai's father left their home and married another woman, so her mother started to work at a tire factory while she had to look after her two little sisters. The four ladies had to move from a neighborhood to another because of money problems. In one of the neighborhood they moved in, called Karagümrük, in the Fatih district of Istanbul. Turkan has built a friendship with Emil Yildiz, their landlord's daughter. Emil was playing small roles in Yesilkan movies. When she was in high school, she accompanied her friend to a set where she was discovered by a notorious filmmaker who convinced her to start a career in acting. She played her first role when she was 15 years old. Her mother didn't want her to be an actress, but due to the financial circumstances, she had to accept the idea of that at the end. By the mid-70s, the Turkish economy was in crisis because of the oil crisis around the world, so the Turkish cinema was in distress too. The filmmakers were making few movies. Sorai consequently worked less, but she played important roles. She got cover features in magazines and did interviews after. One of her most iconic films is Bitter Life, Asi Hayat, a love story between two individuals. Mehmet and Nirmin, working class lovers, wanting to get married but cannot because of lack of money. On the other hand, a playboy named Inder pursues, abuses and convinces Nirmin to marry him instead. Ender orders some men to kill and bury Mehmet. They shoot and bury him, but he survives and returns to revenge. He uses the playboy's sister and kills Elder at the end. Turkan was 16 at that time, and Ahem Isik, who played the role of her lover, was 32, but their performance outshined the age gap which the audience didn't notice. Turkan was given the name Sultan of the Turkish cinema by the people who loved her in the film Sultan Gelin, which means the Sultan Bride, in which she played the role of a young woman who is oppressed but strong and resistant. Sorai was admired for embracing all roles in society. Poor city girl, peasant woman, working class woman, celebrity, high society lady, landlady and prostitute, making the audience empathize rather than judge. In order to achieve her glamorous look, Turkan lost weight, had a nose job, forehead whitening, lip filler, and better hairstyling. Her eyes were the main focus in her makeup. When playing a femme fatale, her eyeliner wing is thick and long, which gives the eyes a romantic vibe with a glimpse of danger. For the innocent girl, her aim was to reach the look of big almond eyes. For that, she uses thin eyeliner, mascara on top and lower eyelashes in addition to white or nude pencil on the inner of the eye lower lash line.